Marvel. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. The family of the 25-year-old gunman in the Louisville bank shooting is speaking out. They say there were no warning signs that their son was going to snap, and they have words of praise for the cops who killed their son during the shootout. Their public statement comes as police are releasing panic 911 calls from that day, including one from the shooter's own mother. The parents of bank shooter Connor Sturgeon are praising the police for taking down their son before he killed more victims. No words can express our sorrow, anguish, and horror at the unthinkable harm our son Connor inflicted, they say in a statement. We are deeply grateful for the bravery and heroism of the Louisville Metropolitan Police Department. They said their son was struggling with mental health. While Connor, like many of his contemporaries, had mental health challenges, which we as a family were actively addressing, there were never any warning signs or indications he was capable of this shocking act. Police released the dramatic 911 calls today, including the shooter's mother, Lisa. You can hear the anguish in her voice. My son might be a because of the heaven and he's heading toward the old national. I'm so sorry, I'm getting details that he is oh my lord. I don't know what to do. I need your help. He's never hurt me once with a really good kid. I don't know where he would have gotten a gun. Where did you get this information from? Who told you what's going on? His roommate called me. I'm shaking. Uh, what do I do? Just go back? No, I don't want you to go to the location, okay? It's dangerous there. You have called some of the people, so you go to them? Yes. Other calls came from witnesses in and out of the old National Bank. We are an active shooter. Are they inside or outside? Inside. Has anybody been shot? Yes. How many people? I don't know. Probably eight or nine. Are you with any of them? Yes, but I'm in a closet hiding. I, I know who it is. How do you know the person? He works with us. dramatic police body cam footage released last night. Officer Corey Galloway is grazed in the shoulder by a bullet and falls back. His partner, 26-year-old Nicholas Wilt, was shot in the head. He remains in critical but stable condition. Police say Sturgeon could see out of the tinted windows, but that officers could not see in. I didn't know where he's at. The glass is blocking him. Now, Connor Sturgeon's parents are grateful to the officers who killed their son before he could inflict more horror on the city. We pray for everyone traumatized by his senseless acts of violence. The first of the five victims' funerals is set for Friday.